It is my very great delight to invite you to celebrate, celebration this coming Sunday. And celebration doesn't mean that we abandon suffering. It doesn't mean we abandon the meta crisis. It doesn't mean that we abandon our mad, passionate commitment to live in a better world and to act to create that better world. But celebration means you can't create a better world unless you're willing to already live in a world that's better. You can't liberate the world unless you're willing to already now live in a world that's already liberated. And it's a deep paradox and it's about bitterness. Langston Hughes, the great black poet writes, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? When we defer the dream, when we wait for it to be fulfilled, we wait for that better world. We become bitter and hurt and traumatized. And so what we need to do is create holiday, holy days. And holy days are times when we say, you know what? It's already liberated. It's time to celebrate. It's already here. Because we understand that you can't create a world that's healed if you wait for the healing in order to celebrate. You can't create the world that's healed unless you're willing to already live right now in the healed world. And then I become the new human. I become the new humanity. So this Sunday, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate Christmas because Sunday's Christmas. We're going to sing Silent Night. And we're going to celebrate Hanukkah because it's the eighth day of Hanukkah. And we're going to sing Ma'uz Tzur, which is a, a Hanukkah song. And we're going to dedicate our study to what Christmas and Hanukkah is all about in their shared space. Obviously, there are different holidays with different traditions and different deep structures of meaning. So we're not blurring between them. But underneath, there's a shared understanding. And that shared understanding is about the realization that that which unites us is so much greater than that which divides us. And if I would talk about it from a Christmas perspective, just for a moment, if you would ask me what feature of society most stands against Christmas, I would say polarization, the extreme and intense polarization, where you can't have a conversation. There's no shared ground. There's no shared field of value. And to transcend polarization, we need to actually make place for the different experiences of value in the world. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be studying together an original sacred text. Together, we're going to study it. It's a stunning text called the Fourfold Song. It's about the four great songs of reality and the place that each one of those songs has in our hearts, in our bodies, in our mind. And when we integrate, when we live all four songs, wow, then we begin to create a new world. Then we begin to move beyond polarization to potency, beyond polarization to the new promise, beyond polarization to the new poignancy, beyond polarization to the new possibility of possibility. So we're going to share a Christmas gift, a Hanukkah present, which is the sacred text, which we're going to study together in mad joy. 
with intense gravitas, feeling all of the pain and also feeling all of the joy. So I want to invite you to be with us, bring food, we're going to bring something to eat or snack on, bring a glass of wine, or if you're in a 12-step program, bring a good glass of juice or water. And we're going to raise our glasses, and we're going to feast, and we're going to celebrate, and we're going to create joy. We're going to invoke the better world, the more beautiful world that we all know in our hearts needs to emerge and is the possibility of possibility. So Merry Christmas, friends. Happy Hanukkah. I can't wait to be with you.